pamoja na changamoto tulizonazo Tanzania we are far better kwenye region far better kwenye region we are far far better kuna majirani zetu leo hata dola la kitano kwa mtu kwa siku hakuna hawana you cannot compare them and us for several months now a heated debate has raged on about which east african nation holds the crown of economic growth supremacy while various economic indicators have been pointing towards a shift it appears that kenya's long-standing dominance is being challenged by its neighbors like rwanda tanzania and uganda under the leadership of President William Ruto. In a recent high-profile roundtable discussion with the journalists, President William Ruto left no room for ambiguity as he addressed the economic comparisons between Kenya and its neighbors. He firmly asserted that countries like Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda, which have been vying to measure up to Kenya's economic prowess, should instead focus on competing with their economic age mates. Now, President Ruto emphasized that Kenya's economic standing should not be compared to its neighbors, such as Tanzania and Uganda, who have recently witnessed their currencies strengthening against the U.S. dollars for the first time in history. He argued that Kenya's economic growth now places it in a league comparable to countries like Morocco and South Africa. He went further to claim that under his leadership, Kenya's economy has ascended to become the 29th fastest growing economy globally. Sababu gani? Kenya tuko katika kiwango inaitwa uh, middle income economy. We are in the same category as South Africa, we are in the same category as uh, Morocco, we are in the same category as Tunisia. I want you to check their taxes. You know, because our taxes are now at 15.6% of GDP. 15.6% mm -hmm. of GDP. Taxes in South Africa mm -hmm. is 27% of GDP. Mm -hmm. Taxes in uh, Morocco is 32% of GDP. Mm -hmm. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to answer the question because, you know, the people of Kenya are being pushed and being told, look, you are paying more taxes than other countries. Is that true? That is not true. Now, Mr. Mr. We are paying the Let's same give a to taxes come to like, uh, like all countries yeah. that are in our same category. And let me tell you the difference so that, I, so that you can take the chance. Let me tell you the category. If we go to the market, the countries that are in LDCs, they get a lower interest rate than those of us who are in... Uh, in, in, in income. middle income. Come. So we, you cannot compare them and us. We are in a different category. And for your information, countries like France, their tax as a percentage of GDP is 45%. We are only at 15.6%. That's the difference. Now, we have done major steps. The price of food items is today lower than it was a year ago. It is a fact. Lakini, of course, it's not convenient for certain people to accept. That's number one. Number two, globally, where is Kenya? Uchumi wa numbers, and these are not my figures. We've brought down inflation from nine point something to now 6.8. Those are figures, global figures of the World Bank. Number two, our economy is growing at 5.4%. Not my figures, World Bank figures, right? In fact, they, they quote Kenya is the 29th fastest growing economy globally. Those are figures out there. Of course, many people don't want to accept. I know that there is still no money in people's pockets. Uchumi wa mfuko, bado. Ndiyo bado. Yeah? Are we doing, are we doing something about it? Yes. The president's statement come at a critical time as the nation faces hosts of pressing challenges including a weakening Kenyan shilling, a high cost of living, frequent nationwide power outages and persistent issues of corruption. 
These challenges have collectively pushed Kenya into a tight corner, leaving the country exposed to constant taunts and ridicule from neighboring nations like Tanzania and Uganda. Just hours ago, Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu made a bold declaration during a live televised appearance, proudly announcing that Tanzania's currency was performing remarkably well against the US dollar when compared to its neighbors. Pamoja na changamoto tulizonazo, Tanzania we are far better kwenye region. Far better kwenye region. Angalau sisi tunamudu kama alivyo sema waziri na pokuenda na chukua delegation ya wafanya biashara. Pamoja na kwamba wafanya biashara wanajilipia, lakini dola zile zile zinatoka BOT. Lakini tunakuenda wengi. Angalau tumengeza kiwango cha kutoa kwa siku. Ilipokuwa crisis kali, tukua tunatua dola laki tano kwa mtu kwa siku. Tukapandisha milioni moja. Tukapandisha milioni mbili. We are far, far better. Kuna majirani zetu leo hata dola laki tano kwa mtu kwa siku. Hakuna, hawana. Kwa yotuko vizuri. Her statement triggered a flurry of mixed reactions among Kenyans, with many interpreting it as a veiled taunt directed at Kenya, the only East African nation currently experiencing a devaluation of its currency against the US dollar.